Namo dasa bhagavado arahado samma sambuddhasa Namo dasa bhagavado arahado samma sambuddhasa Namo dasa bhagavado arahado samma sambuddhasa <coughs> So long day. <laughs> it has been long day. Uh, do what? Do do discuss about the Dharma uh, Singani. Dharma Singani. So so far we are already uh, finished. We Kakata. Right, so in the Vimoka Gata, right? Tamasangani Bali, page number what? Page number, let's see. Mm. In the Kani, page number 65. Atasali me, page number where? Page number two, three, six. Uh, up to two, two, three, five, finish. Namasing in Bali, page number 65, we finish up to that. So today we are on the Brahma Vihara. Okay, Namasing in Bali, page number 66. Atasalini, page number where? Two, three, six. Mm. So, at one point, we have to keep in mind is that uh, the Dhamma Singh in Nibali, uh, the Buddha uh, analyzed a Dhamma. Okay, every Dhamma. Starting from the Mahagusala Jeta, first Mahagusala Jeta, and then eighth Mahagusala Jeta, and then it goes to the Rubaujara, first Rubaujara Kusala Jeta to the fifth Rubaujara Kusala Jeta. <coughs> so, in uh, why the Buddha is explaining about the Mahagusala Jeta, Kusala uh, or Dhamma Singhani, the whole uh, Jeta process. So the targeting point we have to keep in mind, or the Buddha is uh, what? So the Buddha want to uh, the past. Uh, firstly, the Buddha want to mention Dhamma Odesa, Dhamma Odesa. Okay, pick picking up, picking up or pointing out the Dhamma, the reality, the Dhamma or the Jeta and the Jeta that arrive together. And then after that, the uh, all the Dhamma that has been uh, explained uh, in the first session, the Buddha trying to analyze again in a group, as a group, okay, Kothasa Wada. And then finally, the Buddha want, the Buddha, uh, Explain uh, Sonyada Wada, uh, showing that there is uh, no soul, okay, no Idane soul or Adda. There is uh, no Adda, so void or lack of Adda. So that is the Buddha, targeting point of the Buddha. So in the Mahagusala Jeta, the Buddha explained very much in detail. So, and also for the Dewa, so the audience for the, uh, the audience, the, the audience, the Buddha, uh, pay attention uh, for this uh, Dhamma Sengani is a Dewa, okay? Uh, because it, uh, it, it is preached in the where? Uh, in the Dawadinsa, and then, uh, 
Nagoda, when why he was a bridge in the Dhamma, uh, Vidhamma in the Dawa uh, So at the last time, so maybe around the last time, the Buddha uh, came down to the human war, human abode, and then met with the Banuvasari Buddha, and then have a lunch uh, with the Banuvasari Buddha, and then explain in brief. Okay, this is gone or what? Ati Sankhipa, Sankhipa Neya. So the Buddha just explained, uh, today I, I preach about the Rubaujara Jeta, something like that. Okay, so in the Deva War, what the Buddha taught is uh, very interesting. Waitara uh, Neya, okay, the method is a Waitara Neya, very interesting. So the book we are having now uh, is about the Abhidhamma is what? Uh, the, the, the Abhidhamma uh, breached by the Banuva Banuva Sariboda to the to his 500 disciples, okay, 500 disciple monks. So that is, that method is called Nadi Vaitara Nadi Sankhipa. So uh, not so much in DD, as well as not not in a bridge form. So it is something like a made a made away majima majima neya. So in Bali it is called nadi waitara nadi sankhipa. Okay, neither do 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 much in DD, nor do much in brief. So so but the the message. The message of the Buddha is over there. It is still maintained. Okay, we can we can we can still see that the Buddha, uh, whenever the Buddha analyzes these dhammas, the Buddha uh, keep in mind that or oh, try to say, okay, this is the Rupaujara first jhana. Then the first Rupaujara jhana, a day man can be happened this way or that way. So previously we have studied what the many methods, right? Uh, uh, in many in, in the different ways or different forms, uh, that jhana uh, can be attained, or the attainment of a jhana maybe maybe uh, uh, in a different manner to do a different person according to their practice. So. So here also, uh, on the page number 66, the Buddha trying to explain, so by practicing for Brahma Vihara, they are also a demon of a jhana. Okay. So here the, the Buddha didn't uh, emphasize on the, on the, how do you say, on very much, very, uh, on the way, uh, how to develop, okay, how to develop uh, uh, for the attainment of a jhana, how to practice a uh, samadha meditation for the attainment of a jhana, basing on the Brahma Vihara, but just uh, briefly, what I say, what? Vueja waka mehi, vueja akusleita mehi, something like that. So, that, that is the main point uh, regarding the way to practice. Okay. We have to uh, be, free, be free from what? Karma, as well as be free from the Agusala Dhamma. And then uh, for the demand of the first jhana, there will be there should be savitaka, savijara, so vitaka vijara, bidi sukha, igagada should be there. So so if you uh, look at the Rubaujara Kusala uh, Jhana Demand uh, in the Dhamma Sangani, there you can find two points only regarding the practice. One point is we have to keep ourselves away from the Agusala Dhamma. And also we have to 
uh, uh, make an effort to have a high, uh, high constituent pass. That is uh, what we have to make it, uh, make these five things uh, stronger. So then in this way, we can have uh, what? Uh, we can attain the jhana. <clears throat> so that's why here uh, we may not see how to practice. Okay, how to practice uh, for the attainment of a jhana very much in the day. So, but in the discourses, uh, like a Bodhisattva Mecca or Metta Sutta, suppose regarding the Metta Bhavana, <clears throat> uh, we have a, how to say, the way how to practice. Okay, because Karaniya Metta Sutta is a very, very familiar with us. So, there are uh, if you remember the discourse, <clears throat> Metta Soda, this goes on loving kindness. And there you can see the preparation, okay, preparatory, preparation for the, uh, how do you say, for the, for the, of a meditator. So before he practices a meditation, he have to, uh, loving kindness and meditation, he has to prepare himself, like uh, what? Santosa uh, Koja, Sukaroja, something like that. And there may be, there are 16, okay, 16 ways. Uh, as you, all of them are what, the physical. So physically, we have to be, how do you say, contented. And then also mentally, also we have to upright, okay, like that. So after that, the Buddha, uh, uh, provide how to practice and med mental loving kindness, how to develop, okay, uh, something like what? Sabasada Bawandu Sukhidata, okay? Sabasada, or be all sentient beings, Bawandu be, okay? And then Sukhidata. So, Sukhidata means the state of being in a good condition. Can you wait for a moment? I have to plug in the battery. Okay. Thank you so okay. much. Okay. Battery. Power is very important. <laughs> Without power, we cannot we cannot survive. So Sabha Sada, Sabha Sada Bawandu Suki Dada, okay, in the Granya Meta Soda, there you see, may all sentient beings be well and happy. Okay, that is very in brief. And also uh, what uh, without without identification. Uh, maybe without uh, referring referring to any identity. Okay, Sabi Sada Bawandu Suki Dada. So all sentient beings be well and happy. Then after that, the Buddha uh, continued to say what? Data wa ye wa adata. Okay, uh, make sentient beings into two groups, data and adata seen and unseen being, okay, visible or invisible beings. So, and also, that is it, that is also one method. Maybe data, data why you are data, okay, and then, dure was and the are we dure? Dure means that those who are living in a, uh, in a far distance, okay. And the Dure means the far, in the far region. <clears throat> Something like a Mr. Ryan, now he is living in America. <clears throat> so very much so far away from here. So, so those who are living in America, maybe we, if we uh, 
Send the loving kindness. Okay, do the okay, those who are living in the uh, distant uh, regions, areas, be well and happy, something like that. Sabi Zada, Baba Wandu Suki Dada is the same. And then Dure, Awe Dure, Awe Dure means a lot so far. Okay, it means we, those who are living close to us, are close to a meditator. <coughs> Uh, data, a data, dure, a we dure, and then Buddha was some way siwa. Okay, Buddha was some way siwa. Buddha, Buddha, Buddha means the beings. Okay, some Buddha also sometimes it is interpreted as a, those who has been ordained in uh, what Arhadapala. Okay, already done. Some way see means that they are still searching. It means uh, worldly beings and what the lower noble persons. So in this way also the Buddha categorize uh, beings into two groups. Data are data. Emyama we go we ne ni ne. Miyama means visible, invisible. And the way ne ni ne means those who are living in a far region, and also those who are living in the what in a close region. We ne ni ne, and then bawaza so ma so miyaza. Bawaza so means Buddha. Buddha means those who who has a no more life, okay, no more life to go, no more existence to be reborn again. That is the word Adhada Palabazin. And then uh, Maso, Waza Maso, it means those who, who, who still have a lives to continue. It means uh, even though Anagami being, Anagami by Nova Bazin, he, may, he or she may have a <clears throat> some existence to, to continue. So, and then another group is uh, what Jauta and Jauta, those who are what afraid of, who have a habit of uh, being afraid of. So, and then another being uh, those who are very brave. Okay. So in this way, the Buddha uh, categorize sentient beings into uh, two groups. Okay, data are data, and then. Buddha, Buddha, Sambhavesi, and then Dure, Awe Dure. In the Meta Sota, I think you mo, mo, most, mostly you get uh, Data Vayiva, Adeta Yiva Dure, Vasandi, Awe Dure, Buddha, Vasambhavesi, Vasabhasa, Dabwantu, Sukhi, Dada. Okay. And then uh, another group is uh, what? Mm. Another group is uh, three. Okay, the Buddha categorizes beings into three groups. Uh, oh, and then what? Three group means what? Diga. Okay, Diga, Lao. Those who who has a body, body type. Body type is a long body type, like a snake or whatever. Uh, those are creeper, creepy, creeper beings. So, and also uh, another being is a short, long, short, a medium, okay, body stretch up. So that's a one group. The Buddha make uh, three groups, okay. And the first, the first in the three group is a uh, what, a long, diga. And then another is a what? Rasa, short. And then another is a medium. <clears throat> the Indian we go, she do a lot. She do a lot, do ya kanda. The body is raja. Maybe the type of the, their body is a long, short, and medium. And then uh, another type is a what? Uh, the fat. 
Sujo, Sujo, Allah means Su means a fat. And then and uh, those of who, whose body body type is a fat. Uh, maybe may may all beings though may all be may all beings though uh, who has a who are fat <laughs> uh, be well and happy <clears throat> something like that we have to and then another is a thin okay then another type is a medium neither do fat nor do thin and then what another group is a what shadow Allah and then Sujo Allah, and then Jinghe Allah. Jinghe is a, the body type is a big body, like an elephant, like an elephant. So they have a huge, they have a huge body. Uh, and then some, uh, some sentient beings, they have a small, okay, small, small body type. And then another type is a medium. <coughs> so in this way also the Buddha, Categorize the human beings into into where uh, into three types. Okay. So then then after that what? After that the Buddha uh, uh, continue to say uh, the way to interpret the loving kindness is what na paro para niko beta. Okay. They may one person uh, may not get angry with the another person, another person, another being. Okay, Nadi Manyeda, so may not look down upon the another beings, another session beings. So on that day also, uh, the common type of the <coughs> uh, practicing loving kindness, or keeping the sense of loving kindness in our mind. And then another, the last one is Nabro Braniko Vita Nadi Menye Da Kadachi Nankanji Diarosana Badika Sanya. Okay. And also the last type is the what? Uh, the last way uh, the Buddha is playing in Meta Soda is the what? Uh, may not cheat. Okay. Um, May all, all beings may not cheat another sentient beings, okay? Cheating, so because we, in a human world, there are many, many cheatings. <laughs> so cheating is a not also a kind of a danger. So in this way, the Buddha uh, explained in the Medha Soda, 11 way, okay? 11, in the 11 way, the Buddha explained it. Meta. So that's it also please refer to the meta soda and then uh, we can we can have uh, some how do you say some some understanding about the uh, practice of the loving kindness according to meta soda. Okay. Uh, wait a moment. Hello, sorry, no? So, oh, my... <laughs> so this, this is about the meta soda for you. Are, I just uh, want to refresh your uh, all, all knowledge, all information, because meta soda is very, very, very familiar with you. Then there are meta bony, certainly there are 11 methods. <clears throat> so you can write this uh, loving kindness like that. Oh, say hello, okay. Pia. Yes. I have a question about this. Mm -hmm. uh, so when we see Sab Sabe Bana Sabe Buddha, so in the Vesudimaga, when we say the Sabe Bana refers to Asasa Basasa. But in mm -hmm. other Sudas, it's not like that. In some Sudas, means ref it refers to those beings who already born. And mm -hmm. Sabe Buddha is refers to those beings are not born yet. 
like in the conception or, or in the womb or something like that. Mm -hmm. So how, how, how can we how can we explain these two words? Mm -hmm. So the, regarding this mass is meta discourse is uh, very clear. So ma the mass and then you you have uh, uh, how to develop a twenty eight uh, five to eight uh, kinds of a meta find the mass then. Regarding this, the Mahasiziaroji explain what the Sabi Bana uh, here, Sabi Sada. Sabi Bana is uh, what all those beings who breathe. Okay, all those beings who breathe. So it means uh, Mahasiziaroji's idea is uh, what regarding what uh, uh, the same with the word. Uh, we saw the maker. Bana, ana, bana is uh, something like that. Bana, who, those who, who breathe in or breathe out, who has a breath. breath. Okay. Buddha means all living beings. All living beings. So, that uh, in the Middha Sutta, there is uh, no bana, right? The Buddha, uh, when he is a classification, uh, one point is the Buddha was some way Siwa. Okay. Buddha, in that case, the Buddha refers to Arahanda. Okay. No, not the, um, not the, it does not refer to the beings who are not yet born, or who are, who are already born, but that the, <clears throat> uh, it refers to the, uh, already, uh, those who already attained the Arahanthood, Buddha was some way Siwa. <clears throat> so, but the uh, another discourse uh, that talk about the meta, uh, the, the way or the, the way to develop a meta is uh, what? But is a meta mega bali. Okay, but is a meta mega bali here. Uh, page number maybe 313 or 313 to 315. Okay, uh, there you can you can see what uh, but is Amida Mecca the way way of yeah, there you can see what a pi two eight way of loving kindness in Myanmar we go higher and say she to admit so but uh, the uh, regarding your question Buddha refers to what uh, those who already born mm -hmm. and then. Uh, Sabi Tata, Sabi Bana, and then what? Uh, no, uh, Sa, Sabi Bana means those beings who are already born. And what Sabi is, Buddha means uh, those beings who are not born yet. Oh, not yet born yet. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I think it, this uh, way of explanation is uh, no in accordance with the what uh Bodhisambhita Mega. Okay. In the Bodhisambhita Mega Bali, I have it. And it refers to what? Uh Anodisa Meta. Okay. Anodisa means without identification. Uh, it uh, it uh, it covers all kinds of beings, all such beings, whether they are born or not yet born or doesn't matter. Because the, in the Buddhist and Buddha Mecca, <clears throat> um, there are um, classifications. The first one is Anodisa Meta, okay? Now, without identification, uh, without uh, referring to any identity, okay? So, that is Sabi Sada, Sabi Pana, Sabi Buddha, Sabi Bogla, Sabi Adabha, Priyapana, this pipe, okay? So every day we chanting, we, we we chant as a development of a, <clears throat> a loving kindness that belong to an Odisha, okay? Not Odisha, without referring to any identity, any identity, okay? So that's why that sort of uh, explanation, uh, identification is uh, not appropriate, okay? Not, 
not in accordance with the what Buddhism Vida Magas way of classification. Uh, so, Basiaro, so, this question I asked some other Myanmar monks. So mm. they explained to me like that. They said the Bana is not only refers Asasa Basasa because I checked in the Vesudi it refers Asasa Basasa. So, but mm. the other monks, not only one monk. So they told me the same. Mm. The same what? The same said that the Bana is refers those beings who are already born. Really? Uh, yes. So, <laughs> so the point, uh, the the point of reference I give you is the Buddhism Mega. Okay. Uh, so which page is out of here? Three one three, I three, think. One, three. Yeah. No, let me let me share. Uh, yeah. Three one three. Three one three. Uh, yeah, three one three to three one five. Okay, here I make a note. Anodi so parana meda jedo we modi. Okay, so anodi sa means it it belong to here sabi sada or bana or Buddha or bogala. Okay. Adabawa Priyabana. This pipe belong to Anodisa. Anodisa means no, no identification, no identity, without referring to any identity. Okay. Uh, whether they, <clears throat> they are born or not yet born or uh, doesn't matter. Okay. All sentient beings. Those who have a breath, that's a more, more 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 appropriate those who has who is with the breath who are still breathing <laughs> okay oh, so, so that Seattle, it means uh when we see when we see the subject but now when we talk about the asasa, asasa. so that means mm -hmm. we refer uh those beings in uh, in the gamma plan ruba plan except the asanya and 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 uh, aluba right Mm -hmm. but Bana. when we talk about yeah when we talk about the sabe buddha it means it refers to all the 31 plants mm -hmm. that is, but the uh, the point here uh, the buddha the buddhism media mega is a reading by uh, what the banuvasari buddha right so in that case the generally uh Bana, yeah, asanya beings are no ban, no no breath, <laughs> right? Sure. So you you can uh, accept. So in that case, uh, you can say accept the asanya being, mm -hmm. right? And then uh, what? Buddha. Buddha means what? Buddha. Buddha is a uh, bikami, bikami or happening the those who uh, maybe five aggregates or maybe four aggregate or one aggregate or happens so they have a buddha okay so in this case we can count we can count all beings right without any exception buddha mm -hmm. What do you think? Maybe so you are. I, I, I think uh, Buddha, the range is, uh, is wider than the Bana. Mm, yeah, sure. And the, if, you, if we think about the Bana, Bana is derived from the Asasa Pasasa, then so there are some sentient. Some beings, they don't have a, what the asasa, basasa, like the asanya being, okay? The, the so aruba this, as well. Uh, yeah, aruba or yeah, nobody. Mm -hmm. So in this case, it will be what the bana would be, what the, uh, the scope of the bana will be limited, okay? But the scope of the Buddha is wider than, mm -hmm. 
why they are there in the bar now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it is also interesting, right? But the in the Buddhist Amida Mecca, <clears throat> the way uh, it the way in which Buddhism Amida Mecca is playing is what it covers all all sentient beings. So without any identification, without referring to the any identity. So Sabi Sada also you can image all beings, all sentient beings. Bana means all sentient beings. All, all are referring to the same thing, but a different, uh, different perspective. Okay, from the all beings, but from the different perspective. Buddha also referring to the all sentient being, all beings but from the different perspective. Bhogala also individual, all individual. And the Adaba Vabriya Bana, those who has a, what? Uh, Adaba high aggregates, or four aggregates, or maybe one aggregate, it's also Adaba <laughs> Okay. So they, they here in the Buddhism Media Mega, page number 313 to 315 or so, the, they are mentioning Medha Bhavana. <clears throat> the way to develop a Medha Bhavana. Mm. So all together there will be, how to say, uh, one, five to eight way of a loving kindness. So the way to develop is a Sabi, Sada, and then Avira, Hondu, may they be free from danger. Abhya Bhaja, Hondu, may they be Abhya Bhaja, Abhya Bhaja means mental pain, okay? Mental pain, aniga, physical pain, may they be free from the physical pain. Uh, and then Suki Adha Nambari Harandu, okay? And may they be able to take care of themselves happily and like that. So each what, okay, we can practice, we can develop uh, Medha Bhavana into Four way in four ways. Avira want to Avya Baja want to Aniga want to Sugiya Dana and Briana and do like that. No, also Sabi Bana, the same four way. Sabi Buddha, Sabi Bogula, Sabi Adaba Briyabana. But uh, in our chanting, so we we collectively say Sabi Sada, Sabi Bana, Sabi Buddha, Sabi Bogula, Sabi Adaba Briyabana, and then finally we. We just add Avira on to Avya Baja on to Aniga on to Sugi Adda Nambriya and like that. So that's therefore Anodisa Parana Meta, okay? Anodisa Parana, Prana means spreading. So that we, uh, the high, high mode, okay? We can say high mode. Uh, and there are four different ways we can develop. So all together, we can multiply pi by the core. So there are 20 ways. Mm -hmm. And then another method is all these are parana. All these are means identification, with the identity. So sabha eti yo, sabhi purisa. Okay, this is one bear, eti ya and purisa, may female and may beings. So there is identity, identity is there, female identity, male identity, and then Ariya and Anariya, Nova and uh, Ariya means a Nova person, Anariya means a worldly being. So, and then this is also one bear. Another point is the Dewa Manosa Vinipatika, okay? Dewa refers to uh, Brahma, Dewa and Brahma, okay? Manosa refer to human beings and the Winnie body can refer to the beings in the four hopeful states. Okay. So this is also a kind of classification. So we can develop then uh, loving kindness uh, with, uh, with that kind of identification. Sabha eti yo awira hondu avya bhaja hondu aniga hondu suki adhanam do like this in four ways. Okay. Sabi Buddhism, in this way, 
uh, all together, seven, seven types of the basin. And then we have to develop, okay, we have to have a, uh, a kind of a meta, a sense of the loving kindness. <clears throat> we, we can express how we want to, how we want to, how we want to, how we want to, how we in this way, four, four ways we can divide. All together, we have a 28. <clears throat> so uh, this is a 20 plus a 28. All together, we have a 48. Okay, 48 method. And then this is also say we can, uh, this two type 48 way, we can simply say there is a no, uh, no rep referencing uh, do the duration, okay? Duration or region. So that's why, in the, uh, how do you say? I know these are, these are prana, okay? We can simply say, I know these are, these are prana, this is 48 method. As I know these are, these are prana. So we are not referring, I know these are. Not this or this are Meta jet or remote is something like that. Without referring to the duration, this are means without without referring to the duration. So and then with the refer with the reference to the duration, we have a den duration. Okay. So den duration mostly uh, Purati um, Maya here, Eastern, Paji Maya, Western, Odraya, Northern, Dakinaya, Southern direction. So this is four direction. And then a corner, four corner also we have. Purati Maya, Nudi Saya, Paji Maya, Nudi Saya. And then Odraya, Nudi Saya, Dakinaya, Nudi Saya. Then four corner direction. And then lower direction. Hiti Maya desire, Abba direction, Ubri Maya desire. So for each direction, we can develop uh, in, four, in seven ways as well as in, in five ways. Okay. So for example, Buddhati Maya desire, Sabi, Sada, Aveda, Hondu. Buddhati Maya desire, Sabi, Sada, Avya, Baja, Hondu. Puradi Maya Desire, Sabi, Sada, Anika, Hondu. And then Puradi Maya Desire, Sabi, Sada, Suki, Adanam, Brihalandu. Okay, like this. In this way, we can have how many? So 48. Okay, 48, we can, uh, yeah, 48. We can multiply by 10. Tarashim. How many we get? 480. So here, 480 plus 248. Mm -hmm. 480 plus. And then 48. All together, we have a 528. Okay, 528 way of a loving kind of. Uh, 528. How do we ways to develop a loving kindness? <clears throat> so this way is a measure provided in the Parisamita Magabali, three one three two three one five. So, but in the Visodhi Mega, uh, when the when the Panuva Buddha Gosa is playing, <clears throat> so uh, about the about the practice, how to practice. How to begin our practice of the uh, loving kindness? Then the Visodhi uh, say explain in the day. Uh, number one, firstly, first and foremost, we have to start with ourselves. Okay, something like a hand away or homi ada. Okay, ada. We have to start with the, ourselves. Maybe if if you practice. Loving kindness, start to practice. 
if you are a beginner in the practice of the loving kindness, then firstly, first, firstly, we have to start, you have to start with yourself. Okay. Uh, if, if you cannot love yourself, how can you love other beings? <laughs> right? <clears throat> so you have to understand study. Okay? It, it is means it means what that you have to study how to love yourself first. <laughs> so that's why in our daily chanting, we have hang awiro ho mi, abhyabajo ho mi, aniko ho mi, sukiyata nambari hara mi, like that. So if we, and uh, I think some of you may have a try in this way, okay? Uh, you you trying to practice uh, loving kindness to yourself, uh, with yourself first. Then until you can see you yourself, okay? A smile with a smile, with a peaceful manner, then that, that will be very good, okay? Without worry, okay? Sometimes you may, you may, uh, some people, there are some people, uh, they forget to uh, remember their, their day or their time with a smile, okay? Their happy time. So we have to remember our happy time, happy face, okay? Uh, the, the image, a kind of a happy face, uh, peaceful condition, uh, appear within yourself, within within ourselves. We have to practice uh, what matter. So we have to begin to practice a loving kindness with ourselves first, and then after that, other beer, and then a beer. Uh, beloved persons, our beloved persons. Uh, it means our, the scope of loving kindness, firstly, we are very limited to ourselves. And then we start to extend our love, scope of loving kindness to our beloved uh, beings, maybe our parents, our very cl close friends, and so on. Then uh, individually, uh, you can, uh, suppose that you, uh, you practice a loving kindness with your parents, okay, you, with your mother first. And then uh, you, you, until you, you, the image of your mother with a smiling face, with a, uh, every very comfortable manner or peaceful condition. So only up to that point, I would like to recommend, up to that point that you try to uh, send a loving kindness. So finally, you can see your mother with a smiling face and in, your, in your mind, your father also. Uh, and then Majada, so neutral beings, those who are neither our, not our beloved, neither our beloved uh, beings, uh, nor our enemies, okay? So we, can, we have to uh, develop one after another. And then after that, we have to practice, uh, we have to extend our scope of loving kindness, uh, even to cover our enemy, okay? Our enemy. So, and uh, we told him, like, uh, <clears throat> it is playing a lot about the how to, how to, because it is a difficult, uh, to send a loving kindness to the to our enemy, <laughs> to our enemy. That's why uh, uh, Maga quoted quoted many discourses in which the Buddha um, explained the way to dispel uh, agada, okay, dispel uh, hatred or revenge, revengeful mind. So, so we have to develop that kind of, we have to read that kind of a soda, and also we have to follow the instruction and in giving in the in the in such a discourses in order to dispel our anger, anger, our hatred on the what hatred to the to our enemy. 
So that uh, in Wizarding Maga is very much informative. So in explaining about how to, uh, in explaining how to, how to, how to develop a loving kindness to, to us, to us, our enemy, because it's a difficult. So even, even those who have a, um, practiced loving kindness meditation a lot, so it may have a, a kind of a <clears throat> difficulty in the, in, in, in share, sending loving kindness to our, and to the enemy. So Rappling is a Wizarding Maga, please try to see in a Wizarding Maga. So then uh, in this way, so Adda Biya Medja Wiri in the four, four, four modes. So uh, in this way, Wizarding Maga practically, okay, how to develop, how to enlarge, how to extend our scope of loving kindness uh, to cover all types of the sentient being. So if we, uh, if we practice it like that, then maybe even we can send our loving kindness towards our enemy, then it means you are, you are my, you are, want to say, and your mind is ready to develop <clears throat> loving kindness to, to cover all sentient beings, like Sabi, Sada, Awira, Hondu, okay? So it would be better um, uh, to have a, without limit. This, that's why, uh, without any limitation. Uh, that's why it is called Abamana, okay? Abamanya, okay? Abamanya is Medha and Karuna. <coughs> so th this is about the loving kindness, okay? There's a sofa, I found that. I found these three, three discourses, okay, three places, three sources. One is a meta soda, another is, uh, <clears throat> how do you say, uh, Badisambida Mega, and then another is uh, what, Wisoti Mega. So also there are many, uh, many ways, uh, many discourses in which the Buddha explained uh, about the loving kindness. So, you know, loving kindness is mostly, uh, uh, it, it belongs to the bhavana, right? So, but the, I don't remember the name of the soda. So in which uh, the, it is, that's, that discourse is explained about the three Mahathiras, Banuvanuroda, and then another three, two months. They, they, they are living in the forest right? together, they practice. Then one day the Buddha <clears throat> visited to their forest. Because they are living in harmony, the, the, the deity, guardian deity over there is a very happy uh, to, brood, uh, to be with that kind of three months, the three Mahathiras, led by the Banu Venu And then uh, when the Buddha visit, visited to, the, to that forest, the guardian deity or the Dewa, the guardian deity or the that forest uh, pro, prohibit the Buddha not to enter. They don't enter. They, they don't allow, he don't allow the Buddha to enter into that forest. <clears throat> because what he think is that if the Buddha enter, so if uh, another stranger came to the, uh, to the forest and then uh, those who are living in unity will be divided. So that's why he, he don't allow. Then the, when the Buddha uh, was having com conversation with the, that deity, the Banu Banu Roda overheard about that the conversation. And then the Banu Banu Roda said, oh, this is our master, guardian deity. Please allow. So, and then uh, finally the Buddha I met with these three Mahathiras. <clears throat> and then the Buddha asked, uh, how is it you are living? Okay, how is it you are living over there? They, are, they, they live in harmony and the unity. They live in one, only though, or, even though they are three, but uh, they live as a one. 
uh, how do you live? So in that discourse, uh, the hair explanation is uh, not only uh, meta, but not only what the mental practice, bhavana is not only mental practice. Bhavana became in their life, meta bhavana became in their life, we are living. So bodily also develop a loving kindness. Bhavali also they develop a loving kindness and as well as the mentally also. So kaya, bhavana, okay, kaya, and then waji gamma, and also manokama, even in the manokama. So that's why they are, they can live in harmony, okay. So that's, that's a very, very much reasonable. So, so just by the practicing loving kindness, Maybe you may you may you may be sitting in a quiet place and then trying to radiate the loving kindness to all sentient beings. That's a very good. But the sense that you show no signal that you are loving, you are you are uh, with the middle uh, to another beings. So either through the bodily culture or barber manner. So another. Uh, another being around you may not understand. So, so even they may misunderstand you. So suppose that you, you live in a, in a house or in a room, the two persons live together in a room, but uh, you are all the time practicing loving kindness. But uh, another person who live with, with together with you in the same room or in the same house, Sometimes they may, oh, he don't want to speak with me or she don't want to speak with me. That's why she just always keep a close eyes and sit in front of the Buddha statue and uh, like that, he may misunderstand. <clears throat> he or she maybe may misunderstand you. So that's why uh, it is encouraged uh, to show uh, uh, loving kindness, loving kindness uh, through the bodily culture or Baba Baba Mena. So it means you when you, we talk about uh, when we talk with another being, another person, we have to say the sweet word, the pleasant words. Okay. That's also meta. So it became connected. Only when you show the signal, so like our mobile, so if there is a mobile uh, maybe mobile phone or whatever. If there is a no signal, we are out of connection. We cannot, we have a no connect, we are not connected. Then we cannot have any conversation. Uh, so we cannot, we may not understand one another. We may not be able to understand one another. So that's why uh, signal also very, very much important. Uh, if we if we live with another being, so, so uh, we have to show the signal of the loving kindness <laughs> through the bodily action and barber action. Okay, so it is also very, uh, very clear uh, if you study the Meta Sutta, the discourse on the loving kindness. The mass over there may be. Uh, in that discourse, they previously go there, go into the same forest, and they practice over there. But they just practice. That's why deities, even deities, they misunderstand. Okay, they they want to disturb us. Okay, so when they go, that's why they disturb. Uh, they frighten the man's to go away. Uh, and then finally, when they go back to the Buddha. Then the Buddha teach them loving kindness, uh, meditation, and then to ask them to recite. Okay, ask, ask them to recite. This is a very important message. It means you show, okay, you show the loving kindness, signal of the loving kindness, the sign of the loving kindness, uh, through the bodily action or verbal action. So that's why the, uh, in the Metta Soda, if you look, if you read the Meta Soda, the Buddha teach them and add them to recite. Okay. 
and then to recite. Only then they understand, oh, finally the, the deities over there came to realize, oh, they are not harmful, they have a loving kindness towards us. So they start to understand one another. Okay. So <laughs> that is, uh, that is a word. Uh, about the loving, the way to develop a loving kindness and also uh, the way to uh, practice in the Wizard of Magami, the way how to begin our practice of the loving kindness. And if we are uh, mature, <clears throat> if we are, uh, if we become skillful in the, uh, in the practice of the loving kindness, then you can uh, follow uh, either as a mid, Aina as instructed in the Meta Soda or as instructed in the Wisodi Buddhism Meta Maka. You can, uh, until you we attain the jhana, okay? First jhana. So that is about the Meta, <laughs> Meta Bhavana. So even though here in the Dhamma Singh in Bali, they didn't mention that way, but through the help of the discourses so we can understand. So if we are really uh, interested to practice a loving, meta loving kindness, we can follow. So, but the, the Buddha, the way in which uh, uh, the Buddha is playing in the Dhamma is uh, not, not, not to give how to practice, okay? Uh, in the day, not to, not to get the way to practice the meditation, meta meditation, and then you attain the jhana. But uh, the point is, you attain the mid, uh, first jhana or second jhana or uh, and all that jhana. Okay, first jhana, second jhana, that jhana, you may attain like that uh, with the meta bhavana. You may be uh, with, the, with the practice of meta loving kindness. And you can attain this jhana. So, and then when you attain this jhana, when uh, when the first jhana jeta uh, arises in your mind, then how many uh, mende concomitants arise together with this kind of a, um, uh, first jhana, and so on. So everything is a not uh, uh, just a dhamma, okay? Mentalities. And then no, there is a no soul, no self, okay, no other, no being, like that the Buddha want to say. And then after that, the Buddha continued to say, uh, Kothasa, collectively, also indiv separately, individually, explain first, and then collectively explain again. And then finally, the Buddha point out that even in the first jhana attainment, so, so the first jhana jeta arise together with it is a mende concomitants, it associates. Though there is no soul, no person, no being, just a mentality, the process is there. Okay? So that point we have to uh, keep in mind. So in the uh, first jhana, so here is the chart for the uh, Medha, for the Brahma Vihara, Medha, so the Sudhika method, okay? Sudhika, so just the brightest, pure, pure Medha Bhavana. So this one, but with the property Vada, as we uh, studied before, uh, Dokha Padi Vada, Dhanda Vinya, Kepa Vinya, and then Sukha Padi Vada, Dhanda Vinya, Kepa Vinya, so, and this also four way. And then there is a, regarding the Aramana, Breda, Breda Aramana, Breda Abamana Ramana, Abamana, Abamana Ramana, and the Abamana Breda Ramana. So the, maybe, it may be different from Bazen to Bazen. And also finally, uh, the Buddha also explained the yeah, system, okay, the Meta method. So, Misha of but even I, Aramana. So all together, there are how many? Uh, so previously we have a Nawaka, okay? 
previously in the casino, uh, based on the casino, we have a Nawaka. Okay, but here only we have a Sadaka. Okay, Sadaka. Tika Jadoka Jana. So the because so with the Meda brightness, with the Garuna brightness, with the Murida brightness. Okay. Uh, we have uh, how many jhana can be we can attain the, uh, up to the up to the third jhana in the four fold method up to the fifth jhana up to the fourth jhana in the five fold method okay that's why in the commentary they have mentioned tika chadoka janika vasena okay where is the no fifth, fifth five jhana fifth jhana so only Dika Jadoka Janika was in there are Panja Wizadi Sataka, there will be Panja Wizadi, not Nawaka, only Sataka. So we have to minus a uh, uh, fourth jhana in the four fold method and also a fifth jhana in the five fold method. Then we will have uh, only 20. Uh, that the Sataka. Previously we have a Nawaka, nine. Group on uh, which uh, Fajana was a uh, seven, okay, seven method. So also Garuna Murida, and then and the, the, the last one is uh, what Ubeka. Ubeka is uh, only uh, Ubeka is uh, how many? Ubeka Chadota Chadota Jana was in a Panja Wizardi. Ekaga. Okay. Only Eka. Because the, the Ubeka meditation is only for the fifth jhana. Okay. Only for the fifth jhana in the five fold method, fourth, fourth jhana in the four fold method. That's why we have only one. Okay. But we still have a 25 Ekaga. So with this method, so with this, uh, we can understand what? Uh, without uh, Brian practice or the Murid, Medha, Karuna, Murida, we cannot uh, attain Ubeka, okay? So if we want to uh, have a neutrality, uh, Ubeka, uh, indifference, if we want to practice, the firstly, the first requirement is uh, what? Medha, Karuna, Murida, uh, with this three method, we have to uh, we have we have to have a practice before uh, up to the attainment of that jhana. Only then we can continue uh, fifth jhana or fourth jhana in the four fold method <coughs> uh, with the ubeka. Okay. So the other things are other things are uh, in the Bali test. There is no special things, but in the commentary, the Mazing and the Atazalini Atagada may be quoted. Maybe say, we, can, we can simply say that uh, the last part of the wizard explanation or the wizard Maga, okay? So that is uh, something like a Bakina Gagata. Okay, Nagagata. Okay, okay, Nagagata. And uh, this is also the same thing is given in the Wizard in Mecca. Okay, Nagagata also interesting. So mostly it is play what the Lekana characteristics, function, manifestation, and proximate cause. Okay, proximate cause. Uh, and also apart from this. Uh, uh, med, uh, the Adazalini Adagata is playing what? The enemy, close enemy and uh, distance enemy. Uh, I do the meta, Kruna, Mudita, Ubeka here. And also, Dokha Badivada, Yabada, Yabada, Wakambana, Wakambana was in a meta. So, meta. How in which manner, uh, if we develop a meta, what happened? So we can eradicate, we can remove, okay? We can remove a Vyabada, we'll be able to remove. 
Bengaru na we will be able to uh, remove what we hands are. We hands are means uh, we hands are also a kind of <clears throat> a kind of a dosa, but uh, we have an intention to just try or to torture other beings. So that's that that kind of a mentality will be removed by the practice of karuna, and then by the practice of murita, already we come Ready means a delight. Okay, we find delight in the Sunday. So already means we don't find, we feel not happy. So mostly if we see uh, another person who are in trouble, who are in a miserable condition, uh, we, we may be easy to pay pity on him or, or her. But the difficulty is that if we see some, someone who is in a, a better condition, maybe richer than ever before, and healthier than ever before, then sometimes we, when we look at them, we don't find delight. We don't feel happy. That is for RD. So if we develop a med murida meditation, uh, if we practice the murida, then uh, we, we are liable. Uh, to be happy when we see someone is in a very good condition, okay? So that, that's, that, is, that is mean what the other day we can but now was saying uh, by means of the uh, removing, uh, finding no delight on the others, what? The others' uh, well-being. The important by the practice of the Upeka, and raga dosa wikamana. Okay. Uh, if we practice the Ubeka meditation, maybe raga also will be removed. Dosa also will be removed. Like that. So that is something about the Medda Kruna Murida Ubeka. Then uh, tomorrow we were, we were going, we will discuss in detail about this uh, characteristic fashion, manifestation, and so on. Thank you very much. That's all yeah. I want to do. Thank you, Sayyidah. Thank you In so fact, much. I have, I have a, a comment on the word Pana, Sayyidah. Yeah, yeah, please, please. So it just, so we also see this word in the first precept, right? Pana Tipata, where Ramani Sikha Barang Samadhiya. Yeah, yeah. So mm -hmm. here, theoretically, what it, it should refer to all beings, right? All beings are the ones who have lives. But mm -hmm. and then uh, if we think about it, then, uh, so what about the beings in the Arupa planes and the Asanya Sattva? So I just, this is not a good thing to think, but we, we, can, we can think about, you know, how can we kill those beings up there? So is that the reason why in this precept, the yeah. word used, you mean that the word Pana used, maybe it mm. just refers to the beings with the breath? Because mm. otherwise, as I said, I mean, how, how can we kill beings in the Arupa plane and Asanya Rupa plane, right? Mm. Yeah, yeah. So it, it's That's kind it. of interesting when we think about this word. Mm -mm. Yeah, very good. Very good way of thinking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So how do you think is it? Ali? Is it? Uh, 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 that is also okay, but even like a Ruba plan, we also, we cannot kill them also. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? So when in, in, the, in that precept, it should refer to all beings, right? Because if, if we could kill them, then of course we are going to commit that precept as well, mm -hmm. right? But uh, then yes. when, when we think about that, then I mean, how can we kill them? Because they only have minds. How can we kill them? So is that maybe that's the reason why in this precept, you know, the Buddha would use the word pana just to refer to the beings that have breath. Oh, uh, but uh, you see, when we check the bana, this word, they also have they also have the meaning of life. That's what I mean. So that's theory, theoretically <laughs> what it refers to all beings that have lives, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> very very interesting. Yeah. So please try to find more. <laughs> Trying yeah, but when we check like uh, when we check the wisdom maga, they refers to asasa pasasa. So mm. <laughs> it's very interesting. Mm -mm. There's a what uh, um, 
more practically. Uh, practically means it is asasa pasasa, in breath and out breath. The who has a breath. Mm. Uh, so those with, without the breath, uh, uh, how can we kill? <laughs> uh, how? Yeah, that is uh, with the banali bada also. Mm, this is, and they also, <clears throat> but the dam, the dam bana bana is a general. We can think, simply take as a general dam, common dam, uh, referring to to the living beings, living beings. So if we are not able to kill, if, even though we are not, we are not able to kill those who are Rupa beings or maybe those in the Rupa play or Asanya beings, but they are indirectly uh, included, okay, included in the, in the list of the Bana. So not do harm, it means not do harm, <laughs> not do harm, not do kill any, any being. Okay, so if we find if we if we find more reasonable one, so because it's a kind of research, <laughs> right? It's a kind of research. So in, according to test, in the the same word may 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 bring about another another meaning. Okay, but originally, the, what we are talking about is the originality. Uh, originally, the word bana refers to the uh, in breath and out breath. Maybe there is a because the word uh, they have a use, it has been long, long ago. Eh? So, there may be development of the language, maybe interpretation to the, uh, to the same word. Uh, it may be different from one age to another. Maybe some in one context to another, there may be. So thank you so much. May you be happy, worthy, peaceful, successful. So thank you so much. Sadu, 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 sadu. Buddha sasana jiran deta tu. 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 Sadu, sadu. Take care. Good night, Sayadaw. See you tomorrow, Sayadaw. Yes, see you tomorrow. Our university will open up uh, first June. <laughs>